Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today, we're going to be covering the summon mechanic. Now, the summon mechanic is actually pretty difficult. So, since I'm saying that now, I also want to say, before I get started, uh, make sure to jump on over to my Discord if you like stuff like giveaways, community events, uh, watching player showcases. Perhaps you have a lot of questions about Mythic Mobs that might actually get answered in there. So... Um, if all that sounds good to you, make sure to hop on onto my Discord. The link will be in the description below, and let's go ahead and get started. So, first off, I'm going to delete this because you don't need to see that yet. Okay, so, first you're going to need two different mobs going on here. You don't need to, but eh, for this instance it helps to have two. If you need to take a moment to type all this down, please make sure to do so. Pause and then resume whenever you're ready. So first, we're going to talk about the types. You can have two different types of mobs here. You can have vanilla mobs, or you can have custom mobs, mythic mobs, if you will. So, if I type in zombie, I'm going to go and reload. MMM spawn summoner. I got to spell it correctly the first time. Okay, so, if I go ahead and right click him right now, as you can see, he's just going to spawn in another zombie. Oh, please don't kill my, don't kill my alter ego. Okay. So as you can see, he spawned in a zombie. He is taking an awful long time to burn. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this for safety reasons on the next thing I'm going to do here. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, now that my alter ego is in a very fortified barrier box, we are going to get to the next part. So next is going to be radius. Radius is how far around the mob that your other mobs are going to spawn. So you set this to one, it'll spawn in a radius of one, two, three, four, etc. Super easy. Um, now this will vary a lot. Like this doesn't mean it'll spawn at the radius of four, it just means it'll spawn within a radius of four. Something very important to keep in mind and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. So if I go ahead and just do this, I'm going away from here. So you can see, it's not like always at four. It's rather a guy. Okay. So I'm gonna add a couple options here because I just remembered why I always do this. True. Okay. So if I do reload, and now I'm going to do it again, summoner. Okay, so back to where we were. After you have your radius set, or beforehand if you want to, you can add an amount here. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch zombie to mini me, which is our second mob we have here, and we're going to have him spawn in two of them. So after that, we're going to go ahead and just reload. Now we're going to right click them. And bam! The babies are falling from the skies. Creepy as that is. So, you know, you can, you can quote me on that if you want. So, as, but you can see the gist of it though. They're all just spawning and... Yeah. So, they're spawning within a radius of two and he's spawning two at a time. Now here's a couple other things. Radius Y... Well, or Y radius will automatically inherit whatever this is set to. So if this is set to 4, Y radius by default will be set to 4 unless you set it to 0. This is kind of a big deal because when we uh, reload and spawn them in more, now you can see they're not falling. They're just spawning like on the ground on the same level that our mob is on. Pretty, uh, pretty good to have. You know, I think it should always be that case. My god, there are babies everywhere. So, um, yeah, just something important to keep in mind. You definitely just make I highly recommend keeping it at zero um, but that's entirely up to you now there's a couple other features some of which don't seem to work very well there's one called like Y. it, it goes by YU which stands for ra Y radius up only uh, which is gonna be a true false factor if I pull up the manual here you'll see here Y radius up only whether the Y spread should only go upward not downward now, that didn't seem to make a difference whenever I put my, um, 
uh, whenever I put my mob on glass, and I'm gonna go and show you that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and set. Yo, why is my why is my thing doing that? That was weird. Okay, so I'm gonna set my Y radius to four here, and I'm gonna put my mob up up high. So we're gonna do the load one and spawn similar. Okay, so. Just to recap, we have it set to Y radius up only is true, but if I spawn them in, you can see that occasionally they're still spawning below regardless. So, um, yeah, just something to keep in mind. It's not really worth bothering with this. I just highly recommend you always have Y radius set to zero. That's just, that's just going to be your best bet. So if I reload, you know, at least this way, they're always spawning at the same level. You know, it's not annoying to try and, you know, fidget with. So we're going to let him fall here. Now, there's two more things I want to show you. So one is going to be inherit threat table. And this is also going to be a true false. So if we set this to true, one thing you need to have, you need to have threat tables true on both your mob and the mob that gets summoned. If you don't have the threat table on both your mobs, this will not work. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna reload and I'm gonna have to kill them all because, well, they're not gonna automatically have it, so kill all. Now we're gonna spawn in our summoner. Spawn summoner. And I'm gonna put my alter ego in a less safe box. I'm gonna just, there we go. So hopefully they will get a taste of smell of him. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Yeah, now we're cooking. Okay, so now that you can see that's going on, I'm trying to think of a good way to do this because like, well, <laughs> say the least. I don't want baby zombies going in there right after, so. Okay, so, it looks like that mostly worked. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, I'm actually just gonna put them in god mode. That way, I can just... Break all this. And, okay, now he is box free. Now what we're gonna show you is inherit threat table true, add self on interact. That means the mobs that have the threat tables are also going to copy it. So if I put myself in survival here, turn on god mode so I don't die, if I start attacking him, eventually, yeah, okay, so now he's targeting me, but they are not seeming to do anything, which is interesting. Okay, now if I get my other self to attack him, in theory, they all should start attacking me. In theory. But it doesn't seem to be working that way. Oh well. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do, since that doesn't seem to be working, is copy threat table. Now, this is pretty much the same. Um, yeah, it's really interesting because... I don't know, this just requires a lot of playing around with. It's not really worth bothering with, but uh, the last thing to really worry about is copy threat table. Now, this pretty much means it's just gonna copy whatever this mob is targeting. So like, if a summoner is targeting my alter ego here, for example, any new mobs that he summons will also target the my other player, because as you can see, some of them are spawning closer to me, but they're still going after him anyway, because he's higher on the threat table. So it's a pretty complicated thing. I don't really recommend messing with that unless you know what you're doing. However, I'm also not telling you not to experiment because it's good to know what you're doing and to learn. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. It's It was kind of a complicated one, kind of iffy because not a lot of stuff with the summon thing works, but you got to see what all does work with it. So I'm sure you guys can figure out how to make that really you know, interesting, special, and unique in your own ways. So pretty much, uh, yeah, I hope 
I hope this tutorial inspired you. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for other future tutorials you would like to see covered. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.